Brian McCarthy and you're on Zoom with me in Hopewell Township on Route 518 near Route 31 at Orlando's restaurant where there's a um, kind of a ride-in every Sunday morning but it's for older folks when I say older uh, folks my age that uh, are living their dream when they were uh, 17, 18, 19 years old. Now they're, they've built the bikes or own the bikes they dreamt of. And some of them are, um, you know, from the 60s, the 70s, race bikes that they uh, wanted to have. I had one, a little one. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Well, here we have a Norton. Could be a Commando, could be an at uh, Atlas. Very cool bike. This is a 78 BMW R Series 100. I had an R75 which uh, led to an R90. Um, my brother, who's considerably younger than I am, still has my 1968 R50. Uh, you meet the coolest people on a BMW. Wow, this is a Sears. Could be a Zundap, it could be, it was a Sears, this is a Sears motorcycle. It's a two stroke, way back when. Don't know actually who made it, but it's neat. This was king of the road when I was a kid. Bonneville. There's another BMW. This is another R series slash seven. Thousand cc's, I believe, yep. With Krauser bags. True story in 19, 77, I bought a BMW uh, R slash 7, I believe. It was a 750. And my girlfriend at the time uh, liked it, but decided she didn't like riding on the back. And she bought an identical bike, same color. A uh, couple of cc's smaller, but physically no, 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 uh, not smaller. And uh, put it on the road herself and there's, there, there she went, all by her little old lonesome, very independent. It was more fun that way. We got a uh, trailer that would haul two bikes behind a truck for camping. Great way to enjoy yourself. There's a Moto Guzzi, which is quite similar, or I should say my custom 500 that I'm putting on the road today. Uh, as soon as I go see Gino at East Coast Motorsports for some rubber on the thing, it's been sitting for six years. Um, very similar in appearance. Great bikes. 